Hey guys, it's Marissa. So in today's video, I know I look a little bit crazy. I'm kind of recording two videos today. The first one is obviously this one right here, and that is just like a few simple like sewing hacks whenever it comes to like face masks and stuff because I know we are all still having to wear it. And um, I've had a few problems where like a lot of them are very big on me. So I just wanted to do what I normally do whenever that happens if I have a problem like that. I usually sew it or put it in the washer so it can shrink and I just wanted to show you guys how I do it myself and then I also did show one other little sewing hack but I know I don't have any makeup or anything on either so that's why it looks kind of weird but like how I said I'm recording two videos today so that is why. That's basically it and I just wanted to just re-explain the rules of the giveaway as well that's ending today but I'm still giving you guys today so then you can still participate in it if you're interested but if you're interested to see the different sewing hacks I have and how to enter the giveaway, then just keep on watching. So the first one I don't really have a sewing hack for, but it is a little bit big on me. I just wanted to like include this because I never really had the chance to include it in any of my other clothing hauls because this is actually something that my sister gave me. And it's just something from the Nordstrom rack, I guess, that she gets these little monthly clothing and stuff like in this little box that she pays probably like $20, $30 a month. And this was one of the shirts that she received and it just didn't fit her. And I thought it was really cute. It's still a little bit big on like the sleeves and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna take it in somewhere to get it fitted professionally but if you guys are interested to see how it looks even afterwards just let me know down below because I think that this shirt is so cute the next shirt that I did like a little DIY sewing hack on was this little pink crop top shirt and this is honestly one of my new favorite summer shirts the only thing wrong with it is that the string broke and if you're interested to see the whole summer sheen haul there is a different video on that that I'll just link down below so you can just watch it if you're interested but it was basically just the little string that broke which is an easy fix and I just took like a normal like sewing needle and some white thread and I just kind of like re-sewed along those lines where the other thread was where it originally was placed and I know I'm a little bit out of the frame so I do apologize for that I was recording this part with my phone so if you can't really see the whole thing that is why Afterwards, it still turned out really nice and I was able to make the little bow like how it was in the reference photo and I just think that this is a very cute top especially to wear like with a tank top underneath it. And then the last DIY hack I have is the face mask one, which I know a few people were actually asking me to do one. So what I basically was doing, and I just realized I'm wearing the mask upside down, but it really doesn't matter either way. It was still really big on me and the one side of it was actually broken. 
And so what I actually do if it's just a little bit too big is that I actually machine wash it and dry it. But I dry it on light so then it doesn't shrink too much. And then afterwards what I did was just sew it the same way that I re-sewed that string from the other shirt. And I just kind of like with the extra piece of fabric that's still right there because I tried to fit it more to my face. Um, I just kind of cut that off with some scissors and just tried to fit it to my face as much as possible. And I kind of wore it on my face before and then pinched the side where like it fits me the best, if that makes sense. And I just kind of did it that way with trial and error. That's basically what it looks like afterwards when it's all finished. And now I'm just going to be explaining the rules for the giveaway if you guys are interested and just good luck to anyone that's actually participating. Um, so you can actually just go on to my one year anniversary video on YouTube and you can just like look at the description for that. I'm going to add it for this too. It's just like a little, I just wanted to remind you guys really in today's video to sign up for the giveaway and just be a part of it if you're still interested because all you have to do is just follow my Instagram accounts which is Marissa Cohen with two A's and also my Marissa Beauty account with two A's as well with a dot and I'll just like put everything down here so then you can see how it's spelled and everything and then for a second entry you can actually follow my Glossiful beauty page and that is like a little small beauty business that I'm going to be starting up pretty soon and on this channel I'm going to be using this as well just as like little updates and stuff on that business and I'm really going to just try to take a lot of my time creating like the lip glosses and the products so that's why this video is a little bit shorter like how I said and I really hope you guys really like the products, whoever, any of you who are going to buy it, I really do super appreciate it. And if you do buy my products and you get it in the mail, I would love to see your feedback and any pictures so then I can like repost it. The deadline to enter for my giveaway is July 15th, which is Wednesday, which is today because I'm uploading this video on Wednesday, July 15th. So I'm still going to give everyone just today to be able to participate in the giveaway and try to be a part of it. So you just have to comment done on my one year anniversary video or this video just so I know and just follow those accounts like how I said and then I'll just put like all the rules and everything in the description but I will be announcing the actual winner on Wednesday July 25th so just subscribe down below if you haven't already just so you know when I'm going to be uploading and you can just hit that notification bell just so you can get notified for every single time I do upload which is on Wednesdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time but yeah that's all that I really wanted to say it's just like a quick little one-on-one um, -on -one. I just wanted to like talk to you guys really fast about all of that but I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and staying safe and I'll just see you guys next time bye, bye.